Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will learn how to use a while loop to get multiple lines of input, of string input, until the user decides to stop. We can indicate to the user that they can stop when they enter the hash sign. So we can start by defining our scanner reference variable. And using the scanner class, I am creating my reference variable. My reference variable is named input. I'm now creating the, the object. Notice that Eclipse will be complaining because it cannot identify the scanner class. So we can import it using an import statement. And now uh, Eclipse is okay and happy with the scanner class. We can now define an empty string, empty string variable using the data type string. And my my ref my variable is called multiple lines, and it's just basically an empty string which we will use later to add a string to it. Next, we can ask the user to enter their string variable indicating that they can stop when a hash is entered. So I'm just going to use the, um, the print line method. This will print a new line after displaying the message to the user. So the message will be type your multi, multi line string or multi line text. And you need to let, well, we need to let the user know when they can and how they can stop entering text. And so that would be um, the hash the hash key. Okay, I've got a problem. Oh, sorry, I've got the out. Okay. All right. Next, we will use the while loop uh, to loop until the user enters the hash key. Um, getting entry from the user can be done using the hash uh, the has next method. So what we can do is we can use our reference variable um, input dot has next. So this will um, get input from the user. We'll make use of the has next method provided by the scanner to check ahead if there's going to be more words. The method returns true if there are more words and returns false if not. In this case, since entry is coming from the user's keyboard, there will be no knowledge on whether or not the user will enter more words. This is why the condition will always be true. For this reason, we need to make sure that there is a condition that breaks out of the loop when this condition is met, which, could be, which would be when the user enters the hash key. So we can define our condition using the if statement. If um, our now our string um, our string contains, uh, so we could use the contains method. Contains and we could now indicate uh, if it contains the hash. If so, then we would break out of the loop using the break keyword. But right now our, our string variable is still hasn't got anything in it. So to add to add to our string, what we will do is we will concatenate. So itself, it starts with an empty string plus what we get from the user. And we can use our reference variable um, and the next line method. The next line method will allow us to get lines from the keyboard. And I'm going to also add a new line at the end of each line. Okay. All right. Okay. So we can now make use of the string that we collected from the user. So once the user hits the hash key, it will step out of the while loop. So towards the end, we could make use of the string variable. In, 
this demo, I'm just going to print it back to the user and just, you know, let them know what they have entered. So I'm just going to say, you have entered. And I'd like a new line as well. And I just need to add my variable. Okay. Now, in the end, it is always a good practice to close the scanner. So just uh, the close method will do. Okay. To run the program, just click on the on. Okay. Now, here is my console window. So I'm just going to say this is line one, this is line two, this is line three, more lines. So I can just keep on writing whatever I want. Would I learn how to spell? Okay. Now let's say that um, I think I wanted to stop then I'll press the hash sign okay there we go so what this is my input and this is the output which is the string that we have collected from the user so what we have what we technically have done here is we've kept adding to our string so it's just a big string and you will notice that we've also got a new line because of what we have here so basically it's just went out and printed that back to the user. So I'm just going to run this again just to show you that the hash could be written in anywhere of the line. This is an input. This is more input. And notice I'll put the hash sign anywhere in here. And now I will exit. Because we've used the contains method. So what it will do is at any stage during the looping process when we are getting input from the user as soon as it sees the hash sign that's when it would just step out of the loop and print it back to the user and that's it thank you very much for watching